Hey folks, my name is Zach Brammer. I work at Andy Moore Hyundai here in Bloomington, Indiana, and today we are looking at the all-new for 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. This one is an SEL with the activity package in Hampton Gray. Um, it is all-wheel drive as well. So what we'll do is we'll take a walk around the vehicle, we'll take a look on the inside, and then we'll take it for a little drive. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions, and let's hop into it. All right, folks, so we're gonna start here in the back of the vehicle. First, we're gonna take a look at the rims here. So this vehicle does uh, retail for 33,940. Um, this is the Hampton Gray one. Um, you do get a different um, engine in the higher trim levels. This is a 2.5 liter engine, um, where on the other two trim levels that are higher than this SEL, it's a 2.5 turbo. As you see, it has a lot of similarities with the new Hyundai Tucson. Um, same sort of front end, inside layout. So if you've watched any videos on those, you'll see a lot of similarities uh, between the two. So what we'll do is we'll go to the back here. You do have a foot step in the back bumper, which is always nice. Um, one of my favorite parts is the dampening tailgate so it doesn't just immediately slam down. It does go down slowly. This one has a locking tonneau cover, which is nice. So over here on the left side, you have a little bit of storage, but on the uh, right side in this, with the activity package, you get an actual wall outlet in this storage section over here. And then you get these locking and moving hooks as well. If I need it to lock. All right. And then, there's an open button right here where you can open the underneath storage here. So it's about, I'd say six inches deep, maybe five inches deep. You do have a drain plug right here where you can empty out and then you can actually see the spare tire right there uh, as well, which is nice. So the spare tire is underneath the vehicle. You do have uh, lighting right there. Um, which you can toggle on and off um, with the uh, button by the driver's seat and then it'll also turn on these lights right here as well. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the back seat and then we'll move to the driver's seat. All right, so here in the back seat, you've got cup holders in the doors. You also have um, a loop to uh, open up the hidden storage here. So sorry if this gets a little shaky, it's kind of difficult to do with one hand, but it does lift up and you do have a little bit of storage. And you have to pull it back down. So you have a headrest for the middle row as well that lifts up, this one goes up. Then you have a sliding window, which is manual, so you have to actually open it like that. And then it locks closed. So whenever I get in the back seat of a vehicle, my camera will work here. Um, what I like to do is I like to move the driver's seat all the way back, and then the passenger seat is about midway back. So I'm six foot two, um, so I like to show exactly kind of how much space I have, and I can already tell you with the driver's seat all the way back, I am stuck. Um, so there's not much space there. And with the passenger seat, um, I have it's definitely more comfortable. Um, I can actually not feel as like locked in with the seat um, and the door, which is nice. Where with the passenger or the driver's side, excuse me, um, it's just um, absolutely uh, not much space at all with it all the way back. Now with me being 6'2", I don't have to drive um, with the seat all the way back. Um, but still, it's not much space at all back there. So what we'll do now is we'll move up to the driver's seat and take a look at what we got up there and then we'll take it for a spin. All right, so we'll start at the very left in both the driver and passenger side view mirror. Um, you have your blind spot monitor. That uh, exclamation point will illuminate, I think orange in this, to let you know if somebody is in your blind spot. Um, down here you have your controls for the brightness of the screens that are here on the inside. And then this button is the button I was talking about for the bed, um, how you have the light um, in back. Um, up in the display, you've got a digital display, which is always real nice, that changes with drive modes and all sort of stuff like that. So what we'll do is we'll go back to normal. Actually, I want to go to sport because I like the way it looks. 
Um, then here on the steering wheel, you've got your typical Hyundai layout where you have your media controls right here, your voice assistant. Um, over here, you have your cruise control settings. Now this one doesn't have adaptive cruise, um, which is something I really like. I kind of wish this one had, uh, but I believe you get it on the upper trim levels. Um, with the infotainment center, you have actual uh, buttons down here um, for the heating and cooling, while you have touch sensitive buttons for everything except the volume and the tuning. You do have wireless CarPlay and Android Auto in this trim level, which you don't get in the higher trim level. And you do have a wireless phone charger down here, so you slide your phone in there. So not only do you have wireless CarPlay, you have a wireless phone charger, so you can play your music and your maps um, without having to plug in your phone, which is nice. You do have two additional USB charging outlets, though, and one 12-volt outlet for anything else. Um, no shift by wire in any of the trims, I believe. I think they are all actual gear selector, which is uh, some people either like or don't. Two normal size cup holders. Um, you've got two cup holders in the door as well. Down here, you've got your drive mode select, your electronic parking brake, your button to see the backup camera, which this one does have the trajectory, and um, two backup cameras. So you have an above view as well. So you can press this and it gives you a rendered above view with trajectory line as well. Um, we'll turn that off. You've got your downhill braking control, um, your all-wheel drive lock and auto hold, which is one of my favorite features, which will hold the brake for you. Uh, so you and stop and go traffic or town driving, you don't have to hold your foot on the brake constantly. This one does have heated seats in the SEL, which is pretty awesome. Um, starting to add it more and more to lower trim levels, which is great. Um, inside the center console, Nothing, just a felt liner. The passenger seat, which is also heated, um, nothing fancy there. You have uh, the open sort of feel design, which I kind of like, with the no uh, hood over the screen, which it's direct sunlight right now. So you can see, even with the direct sunlight, if I can get it to focus on that and not the steering wheel, how easy it is to read, which is nice. On the rear view mirror, not uh, auto dimming, it's manual dimming. But you do have a sunroof as well, fully functional sunroof, so we'll open that up. And then we'll close it. So this is the black interior as well, I believe I forgot to mention that. Um, you get two color options on the, uh, with the cloth. You get this black and a gray. A uh, very light gray, where on the leather trim levels you get a uh, all black or a uh, it's a dark gray with like orange trimming so what we'll do now is we'll take this for a spin back to the dealership and see how it drives all right folks so the driving portion got cut off a little bit um so it drives great though it drives kind of like a mix between a tucson and a santa fe in my opinion most people around here think it drives exactly like a tucson i think it drives a little bit longer though but I just want to go over everything with it. So this is the 2022 Santa Cruz SEL with all-wheel drive that has the adventure pack, or the activity package, sorry. I must have said that wrong earlier, the activity package. That has the sunroof, the tonneau cover, the adjustable uh, rail system, the 115 uh, power inverter for the bed, the roof side rail, rails, wireless charging, um, LED bed lights and interior lights, and then the sliding glass on the back. Now this one had a tow hitch, which does not come standard. Um, it's a factory add-on. I think a lot of these will come with that. Um, this one has floor mats, a first aid kit, wheel locks, which brings the price to $33,940 um, before taxes and such. Um, so this one um, is a Hyundai, so it gets the Hyundai warranty, which is the 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, the five-year, 60 new car uh, vehicle or new vehicle warranty. Um, you get the three-year, 36,000-mile common maintenance, which is essentially three free oil changes, I believe, on the non-turbo version, which is this one. You also get five years unlimited roadside assistance. I'm really excited about this vehicle. I feel like it's one of the um, cooler vehicles we offer. Um, once they can start getting them out more, I feel like we're going to sell a lot of them. Now, I forgot to go over the gas mileage, so this one gets 21 city, uh, 27 highway for a combined average of 23, uh, which isn't the greatest, but it's not terrible. Um, now, this isn't like a, a big pickup truck. Nobody's going to be using this to haul a bunch of stuff. Um, this is more for somebody who wants the, I guess, the, the bed, but not the truck. Right, so the, the ability to be able to tie stuff down um, that's a little bit bigger that wouldn't fit in a vehicle, um, but not something that's huge and uses a lot more gas and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I try to get to those as soon as I can. Um, 
but if you had any other questions or something that I may not have covered that you want me to cover, um, just let me know and I'll try to get that to you. Hope you folks have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.